Hey YouTubers, Fritja here, and today I have another Medal of Honor Warfighter class breakdown for you. Now before I get into the breakdown, I just want to say thank you for the views, comments, and thumbs up I have been getting uh, recently. In the last 10 days, I have gotten 80 new subscribers. Now I'm not sure if that is average, but I think that's pretty darn impressive. So again, thank you guys, and let's keep the viewer participation going. Now as I state in all my breakdown videos, that this information is only confirmed for the alpha trial only. But I have a good feeling this will actually be in the beta when it is dropped sometime in September. Or at least that's when I believe uh, the beta will come out for Medal of Honor Warfighter. So the class I want to break down today is the Australian SASR. Now in my opinion, his available options are decent, but if used correctly, this class can be as deadly as most heavy gunner classes. So the type of grenade he will have available to him is going to be a flashbang, also known as a stun grenade. So if you have never played Call of Duty, um, it is basically a non-lethal uh, explosive device used to temporarily disorient an enemy senses. So basically what it is, um, instead of a, an actual frag grenade, what you're going to do is, let's say a guy is camping somewhere and you just cannot get to him because he's in a little crevice or you just you know you just can't shoot him what you do is you just throw the flashbang inside or around where he is and it has a pretty good blast radius so what it'll do is it'll basically like kind of blind him for uh, temporarily and you'll be you'll be able to you know take him out pretty easily now the default weapon he will carry is the F88 now you're probably saying to yourself what is a F88 well here's a picture of it and it is also known as the Steyr Aug Next up we have the defensive support actions. He will have the ability to call in an RQ-11 Raven or a smoke screen. Now I have explained what these both are in my other videos so I won't bother doing that in this breakdown. Now last but definitely not least is the offensive support actions. So the SASR operative will have the ability to call in an AH-61 Little Bird. Now this is a small helicopter used for special operations in the United States Army. And if and again, if you have played Modern Warfare 3, it's a personal air support that hovers near or around the area that you will be engaging in. Now I am sure he will have a second option for his offensive support action, but with my sources of information, I just could not find out what that would be. If I do find out what it will be, I will post it in the description after I post this video. So guys, this video is pretty much coming to an end, and before I go, I have a few shoutouts to do. Now the first is to destroy all 24. He was the first to comment on my last video, so thanks bro, I appreciate it. The second is to a recently added member to my dead clan, Wolfpack530. He has been a huge strength booster to our clan, and I thank him for that. Now last but most certainly not least is my good friend Bieber Fever 007. He has a YouTube channel and I will post it in the description below so you can get, so you guys can go check out his videos. And until next time guys, this is Future signing out.